This is for those of you that grew up with narcissistic, emotionally immature, or unavailable parents, and you got money and or business issues. I want to start giving you some tools and things to utilize to help work on this relationship and make it easier. Now, full disclosure, these are deep wounds with, with they are related to that type of abuse and, you know, experience growing up. It, you need support, right? You need to be able to get support to help you through these things because I guarantee you stuff's going to come up. And what we see often a lot of times is we, we start facing these things, especially with money and our businesses, which is also tied to our survival. And we don't want to deal with it anymore because it's really painful. So please get support, whether you reach out to me for that. I work with people all over the world or somebody else, right? Now, what is one of the first things you need to start doing? I want you to start taking some time to look at the patterns that you have with money and or your business or career, right? That keep showing up, right? Just as we would start to look at relationship patterns and romantic partnerships. This all applies just as we would look at our patterns with food or ourself or sex or whatever it is right? All of this applies. So start looking at the patterns of behavior. Start looking at what things keep happening, right? Do you have these moments where like all of a sudden you have a lot more money and then the next month you have even less or like you suddenly you get some more money and then, you know, you have to repair something. Something needs fixed or or there's more taxes due than you expect, whatever it is, right? When we have cycles like this over and over again, those cycles have a lot of information. These patterns have a ton of information. So start looking at the patterns and then start scanning your body and notice when you think about those patterns, what thoughts, what memories, what beliefs come up and are there any physical sensations in your body that you notice when you think about it? Like imagine there is a laser scanning down your body and you are thinking about these patterns, right? You've either written them all down, you've jotted a note, you've taken a voice memo on them to listen back to them, however you learn best, however you are able to process information. Utilize that. So as you're scanning, right? Scan down your body and notice, is there any areas of anxiety? tension, stress, or, you know, discomfort, pain, like sharp tension pain. I get a lot of that in my liver due to a very specific um, wound within my family line. Because those, and that's what I'm getting at. We hold traumas, we hold things in our body, and trauma is relative to our own personal experience. So as you're thinking about the patterns, as you're thinking about, okay, are there any memories? Are there any um, emotions coming up? Are there any thoughts popping into my head, right? What are those things? And maybe you need to do this over like a week or a couple weeks to really collect all the data. Usually you need to, when I do this with clients, we'll start it together and I'll have them continue working on this because it it's a, a kind of overwhelming to just try to think about it all at once. So take your time with it. But then when you start to get a sense of what's going on in your body, where the tie-in is, that is an area where there is some emotion being held, right? We know the emotion holds, or like we know the physical body holds emotions and things like that. So then you're either going to place some hands there or bring your attention there, or maybe you need to place something out in front of you, like a physical pillow or something, if you're not a person that can visualize and you need to start asking questions. What is this pain? Where does it come from? Why does this exist? When did this start, right? Start asking questions of yourself and just pay attention to what comes to you. Maybe you wanna do this through free writing or something, but this all works the same way. So if you can start doing that, you're gonna to start to have a sense of where these things come from. And then if you can discern that, you can start working on them a little bit more. You have a little bit more fine-tuned information to figure out what to do with it. I'm going to give a lot more tips on this, so make sure you're following. And I have an entire course called Money Magic on this, so if you do want help with it, I got you.